right, so I have a uh, function here in my notepad, which I created some time back. So let me copy this function here and take it to my functions.php in here. So I can add one extra function here, like so. So let me tab this and explain what the function is about. So let me put the final. Okay, so the, the function creates a random string with a maximum length. Okay, so it's very simple. There's an array here, and this is the array here. So array is equal to array, and then I have everything here, all the characters, numbers zero to nine, and then I've got A, B, C, D uh, in small letters up to Z, and then it starts again, A, B, C, D in capital letters up to the very end. That's all this array is. And then we set a text equal to empty, and then the length which we are supplying here. So what happens is if I tell it to get a random string, I'll suggest a length. For example, let's say I, I suggest a length of 20. So I expect my length, my, my string length to be 20 and below. So this is the maximum it can be. So the text is set to empty, and then length is set to random. Uh, length is equal to random for and length. So a random number will be selected between the maximum, which was given, and a minimum. So I've put a minimum of four because I don't want the string to be less than that. So between four and whatever number you are, you've given here, a random number will be selected. And once a random number will be selected there, that will be the length of we put here in the loop. So we're going to loop that number of times. So let's say I've selected number 10. Let's say this was 20, and then this random thing came up with number 10 because it's between four and 20. So this means this loop will loop 10 times. So during that time, each time it loops, it's going to select a random character in this uh, array, a random character between zero and 61. So it just be random there because 61 is the total length of this array. So every time it will add to text, add, 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 and then at the end of the day, you have a very random string. So if you want to add some more characters to this random string, just add some more stuff at the end of the day. So I just didn't want you to watch me typing all this because uh, this is very repetitive stuff. So you can type it yourself. Hopefully I'll have it uh, in the package as well, this function that you download in the description. Okay, so get random string max. That's the one right there. So if I go back to uh, upload file here, um, let me undo these uh, quotes here so that we are now saving into the database. So the title is the title we've put and then the URL address now is going to be from that function. So it's going to be get random string max. So our column can take up to 60 characters. So we'll put 60 there. So that would be the URL address. Okay, great. So now let's construct a proper query. So let me come back to database. So make sure that... Um, mm, Okay, so user ID for now, we're going to use uh, one. So we just say user ID is equal to one because we don't have users yet. So ID will be auto-generated, user ID. The image will be equal to destination. So let me just say image is equal to destination right there. Great. And the number of views, well, we don't need to set that, but just for some databases are very choosy. You have to specify everything. So we just say views equal to zero there. Date, we have a date. URL address, we do have title. We have title. So everything is here now. So let's create our query. So in here, I'm going to say title, uh, I can put them in any order. User ID, date, 
image views URL address. Exactly. So at this point, I'm just going to copy this and paste it there so that I don't mess up the order. So I just go select here and add single quotes like this. There we go. One last one. And now I just going, I'm just going to add dollar signs here to make these ones variables. Oops, I missed that one. So I'll move this one here. And there we go. So that's a query. And then we'll put our query in there. Mm -hmm. Now, the best thing to do here, actually, uh, my bad here. We are supposed to use uh, prepared statements, okay? So to avoid any SQL injection. So let me undo this. So what I'll do instead on these names, I'm just going to do this and put a full stop there, a full colon like that. So that's how you make a prepared statement. So these are potential uh variables okay so let me come back here and then everything here i'm going to put it inside an array so i'm going to do this and say array do that so that these become array uh keys like so mm -hmm. so inside array we have title date and all that and then we'll get this array and put it together here so let's put the query here and then a comma and then an array there. So write to database with that. Now we need to go back to database and finish this particular um, because it's unfinished in database. Where is this core database.php? Oh, we don't have anything actually in database. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the uh how is this creating a new database oh we're not actually doing that yet so back to database.php let's create a database class so class uh database okay so the first thing we need to do is create a public function to connect so public function db connect okay so db connect right there and then from there we have to create those functions that we specified there so one is going to be read the other one is going to be write so that's how we'll be writing to the database and here we're going to put a query and then we're going to say data is equal to empty array so sometimes we'll have data sometimes we want so empty array or sometimes so this data is for let's say let me come here for prepared statements okay so when we send the query it's going to have title like that these are not variables they're just placeholders okay so we will send our variables inside this array. Then the database is going to replace one by one is just look at title here and then replace where I have put title here. But the advantage of this is that these will be sanitized by the database. So hacking is reduced. Okay, that's why we've put the array here and the query there. Same as in the database here query and the array. So we've put equals empty array just in case we we create a query that doesn't require any of this stuff. So when we do that, we can simply omit uh, the prepared statement altogether. Okay, so let's make a connection right here, right quick. So I'm going to say try. We're going to try do a try catch uh, PDO exception. So we will use we will use PDO. 
like that. Great. So if the database connection fails, just die. Die with an error message. So the error message is going to be E uh, get message. I think that's the one. That's the method created by PDO. So it has to always be like this. Okay. So now if it works out, let's try here and say DB is equal to new PDO like that. So that's how we create a PDO connection. Now we need to create a string for the connection. So the string is like this string is equal to the name of the, the type of database. So my S and then host is equal to in our case, it's localhost and then DB name is equal to in our case, it's uh, what's our DB catalog underscore db semicolon and let's do that okay so we'll put the string here but then we want to put a comma and put the username which is root in our case and the password is an empty string so pdo done then let's add a um, oh we don't need that here so when we try here i'm simply going to say return here i think return so that it returns yeah maybe we'll do this return db is your new pdo just like that once we connect okay great so i'm confident that this is going to connect and then once we connect we can now use that to read so let's come here to read in fact let's start with write so to write, let's use a prepared statement. So we're going to say, um, what we would do this here, db, in fact, we say this because this is in the same location. So this db connect, uh -huh. so we make that connection. And then once we, oh, we assign it to db like so. Once we make that connection, now we can say db uh, prepare, right? So let's prepare the query. So we'll say statement. I'll just put a shortcut just for ease of typing. Okay, so after the statement now, statement uh, execute execute like so uh -huh. uh, let's assign that to check just to see if it went well so if things went well because this is writing we don't need uh, a result so we're just going to say if check meaning uh, everything went well if that is true then return true otherwise we're going to return false so we just put this one under this one and just say return false great mm -hmm. so execute now at this point point of execution if there's some content in the data there we'll put it in there and it's going to know how to fix it itself but if there is no data there so let me just check here and give, put an if statement uh, i'm going to say if uh, count the number of items there is zero okay count data is less than one which means it's zero so if it is less than one we we'll do something else or well, let's just put greater than greater than zero then we can use that data in here if not we'll do any else statement and do something else we just say query no need to do a prepared statement so you just say statement query like so i think so without the data though we're going to put uh okay 
prepare. Do we need to prepare here? No. So it's just going to be db query. I think, if I'm not mistaken. So let me move this statement thingy in here. Because I don't think we will need to prepare anything if we are not uh, using prepared statements. So prepare, execute, or just query directly like that if there's nothing to prepare. Okay, great. So let's give it a spin and see uh, how things actually go. So let me come back here, browse for an image. My image. Upload. Whoop. Great. So let's go to the DB and browse. Oops. Uh, there is nothing in there. So what I want to do is just tell it to die over here so that we can uh, we can see any errors. Oh, actually, I would have seen the errors if they were there. So what has happened here? I do not know. This is the problem with prepared statements. You can't can't get the error. So insert into images. Let me check here. Hmm. Okay, let me come back here and uh, echo the query from this point just to see if there's anything wrong with it. I'll tell it to die. So let me come back here. Oh, and I went to the wrong place. Oh no, actually. Oh, actually that's what happened, eh? I didn't see an error because there is a return here. So I don't want it to go anywhere else. Just die right there so that we see the error. Or even without dying, you can still see it. So let me go back. Oh, I didn't see anything even now. Hey. Nothing. So let's come back here. Nothing in the database. Oops. Okay, so let me come back here to database and okay, let me redo what I had done. Echo the query and die. So browse. There we go. Hey, upload. There we go. So insert into images, title, views, URL address, values. There we go, title. Okay, this seems uh, pretty standard. Is it images though? Yeah, the table is images. So what is the problem? One, two, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so everything seems uh, great. Now, what I can do is instead of echoing the query, uh, right here, I can show uh, data like that. So, statement execute, uh, statement prepare, execute. Okay, so let's do that again. So, a hey, user ID one, view zero. So the URL address is empty. So maybe it's failing to load because it is empty. So why is it empty though? Uh, image uploads, there we go. So why is it empty? So let's come back here. Uh, URL address, get random string max 60. Come back to functions. Hmm. What is going on? 